Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to the new subs and thank you for subscribing. Um, also want to say a big thank you to subscriber DR for the uh, PayPal donation. I really appreciate that. Um, anything I get through those, um, I'm just setting aside and try and get me a decent light absorbing camera because our winters are coming and up here it's dark it's cold and it's for a long time so really appreciate that um good job on the lyrics oki from muskogee merle haggard named that tune um, he will be missed, the late great Merle. Um, played right up until he just literally fell over on stage, and that's dedication. So, uh, always been a big fan, always liked him. So, I don't really even know what's wrong with this little guy. It's an eight. It's an eight. Look at them spark plugs. Will you? Look at the rust on that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I don't know what we're going to find on this little guy. You know, I think I'm just going to dip it in the tank and see what happens first. That way we can... way we can kind of see what we got going on with it. See if it'll even start or, or what. And I put me a Yamaha plug on. Alright, so got her all pumped up. Choke it. Neutral there. Custom. Custom. Squeeze it up. Let's see what we get.
seems to run fine. I guess what I'll need to do is look at my uh, look at my book and see if I wrote anything. I'll be right back. All right, I looked at my book and the notes, and uh, I didn't write write any comments. So what I'm going to do is repair this, the safety interlock, put in new plugs, um, and then just clean everything up. Um, in here and that's probably all I'll do to it and then call him and see if he wants anything else done to it. Okay I just called the owner and he said that it, there's a couple of things going on. He, he just wants a basic clean up tune up done on it but he says he's having he, he said he wanted this fixed and replaced he knew about that but he said the tilt mechanism or something was messing up. So let's take a gander at that and see what he's talking about. Back on this little yammy ha right there. You notice I got it laying up on the bench because I've got to do something with that uh, tilt latch thing. He had a piece of wire running up through it. And, uh, but I guess the problem that he's having is it doesn't, it doesn't spring back or something. It just kind of flops in there. And he's got some tape, some custom going here. So we have to see what that's about. So I'm sure I can come up with something. But also I wanted to show you guys this. Look in my tank. I don't know if you can show up on camera, but you can see all the way to the bottom. I got the sorbent pads and cleaned all the surface water up and everything. And, and uh, got them rolled up in my conics ready to be fire starters. And then I drained the tank, cleaned it out. But there's one more thing I got to do. One more thing I got to do. It goes in the tank. Don't take a lot, just about a cup or so. That's about all I got left is about a cup. Get it all. Some of this tin foil. There's the beautiful top of that. And go get a new jug. Okay. You gotta put the salt away in there. Make it all blue. But uh, I've always liked the product. I do believe it works. So they pay me nothing. No endorsements. Nothing like that. Don't even know who makes it really. Um, but yeah, this is one we're going to get on. So let me look at how I think this thing's supposed to go. See if I got parts or whatever for it and I'll be right back. Name that tune. That's right. Name that tune. I got some lyrics for you. Where the air smelt like snakes and we would shoot with our pistols. Name that tune where the air smelt like snakes and we would shoot with our pistols. That's it. Name that tune. You can do it.
Uh-oh. Fret doesn't think he found true love. That ain't no girly frog fret. That's a dungeon ass crab. I know, but Fred, Fred, Fred. Fred don't think he found true love with Mrs. Dungy. Good luck on that, Fred. Okay, got her in the tank, and I felt gas going into the carbs. Let's do a little priming thing, and I got electrocuted. I don't understand why I don't see no bare wires or nothing. I'm gonna hit this 24 right there Two thirty-three. So she is not peeing properly 
And then, I, you probably can't hear it on camera, but every once in a while I hear a spark. And when I was messing around in here, I got shocked. So something is frayed, grounding somewhere. So we'll have to check all them grounds and stuff. Well, well. So, um, the 55 commercial runs, but she got quite hot pretty fast. And so... I thought to myself, you know, one thing I noticed with the heat gun is all the heat was centered right around the T-stat area, the highest heats. Um, and I thought, you know, I better check that thermostat poppet valve before I go dropping this lower unit and everything. And, uh, yeah, let me show you what I found. Let me show. Let me show you what found over in here. Can you see that? Look at that thermostat. She's a beauty. Think that was working? I don't think that was working too good. Just a big old clump of rusty salt. Now let's look at the poppet valve. Oh my, look what left of the old poppet. So she got hot uh, and she got melting and salty and yummy. So that's the first thing I was going to take care of was those. But then, you remember, I told you. shocked I got bit when I was reaching around over in in around them wires and stuff I got zapped I found it that's what got me right there see that you grab hold of that owie so when I reached in there, my thumb hit it or whatever, and, and I got voltage right up to snooch. But what else we got? Okay, I took the T-stat cover off. I only snapped off two. But that's no big deal. Remember the deal I showed you? Showed you what you do. You take your drill bit, and I took it on my cordless drill, and I had a broke off. I, only, I had two that were broke off. This one and this one. All the rest of them came out. So I took my drill bit and went in right beside the broke ones. Drilled a hole on each side. I actually drilled three. One there one there one there and the stud was broke and stuck out there so I drilled them holes and uh, so the studums was broke off in there you know, you know, you know. Snap! Off comes ahead of it. So then I took my drill a bit. Broom, drill a hole there. Broom, drill a hole there. Broom, drill a hole there. Shot in the lubricant. Heated it up. Shot in the lubricant some more. Did the same thing down here. I had a broken stud. Is that one in there? Yeah. Same thing. I drilled a hole here. Drilled a hole here beside the studs. Put in the lubricant. Gave it the heat, a little more lubricant, tapped on it with a hammer, took my van pliers, squeak, 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 out. And there's plenty of thread left there to go back up. 
So that's what I had going on there. And then I got to clean all this mess up. I got to clean all this mess up. Go out there and get that new gasket. Scrape all that off. All this yucky. But I'm thinking the water pump might be just fine in this thing. I'm thinking that he ran it in mud and sand and weeds and everything like he's known to do. Probably wasn't getting much water up through up to the power head. And, well, you saw that thermostat and anything. It was roached. And, uh, so, that's what we got. And... What I got to get to doing right now, I guess, I don't know if I'll get it in this video, but on this motor, in order to get it to shift link and everything, it's best just to remove the carburetors. I have found. So I'll probably get started on that. Get them cobbies off there. But yeah, I think I'll well, no, I won't. I'll hold off on the carbs until I put the poppet valve and the thermostat back in a new gasket. And we'll see how it cools in. So I was getting temperatures over 200 degrees fairly quick on this thing. So we'll do that first. We'll button that T-stat cover back up with a new thermostat and pop it and gasket. I'll be back. Went out there and looked and everything and I couldn't find a poppet valve for it. So I'm going to have to look some more. Because um, I know I got some out there. I just got to find them. But I had the thermostat and I had the gasket. So um, I'm going to have to clean this thing up really good uh, around the thermostat cover area for the new gasket. And then uh, I'll get that all cooped up, stuck back on there where it's supposed to go, get the coils back on, get rid of that spot plug wire, what zapped it me. That's no fun. Bzz. So, yeah, we'll get that boot off there and get another one on there that's not got a big hole in it. And so it's getting a little bit late and I got dungeon as crap. I got to get cooking. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. That's one more hack from the Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on the Inside Out Boys with Cody Back.